are starting to suffer and they need help from the Royal British Legion. So you can imagine from the First World War, where there are still people receiving help from the First World War, mm. right the way to the Falklands and Northern Ireland. You know, unfortunately, we've got this um, incident where the RAF corporal's wife is um, now a widow. Um, she actually becomes available to actually get benefit and help from the Royal British Legion if she so wishes. I suppose that a lot of the younger people um, would quickly forget the conflicts, apart from the Second World War and perhaps the Falklands, which would be uh, the second history and the Falklands fairly fresh in their minds. But of course they wouldn't think about those um, service people injured and killed in Northern Ireland, and they certainly wouldn't think of the British Legion and uh, the widow in Germany, would they? Well, I don't think people um, generally associate everything because, unfortunately, the Royal British Legion and the Second World War seem to be to everybody what the war was all about or what conflict is all about mm. and they all see these 60, 70 year olds who head a lot of organisations as being old fuddy duddies and that's the British Legion and the truth of the matter is that the British Legion stands for every young man that's ever been to war and unfortunately the young men who grow old with war, in, war wounds are the ones that need to be looked after and some without, with hidden war wounds um, I was talking to somebody the other day who said that a next-door neighbour had grown old and had contracted a disease in the jungles 40 years ago and is now becoming prevalent in the body and is now needing drastic surgery because of it. Um, it's just one of these things. People just don't realise that the freedom they enjoy and the choices they enjoy today have been hard fought for, hard won, and the people who did it have got very, very little reward. They sacrificed a great quality of life for these people to maintain a certain quality of life and I think it's only fit and right that people stop and think today about how much they can actually do to help these old people who've lost their quality of life regain a certain standard of life it's um, as I say we've all been given our freedoms and we've all been given our freedoms of choice and it would be so wrong if we forgot the people that never forgot us OK, uh, it's Robbie Vincent's Nightline. I'm pleased to say on our Nightline newsmaker line is Simon Weston, uh, heading the poppy appeal. Uh, if you have a point to put to him, this is the number. Call 819-8111. Simon, were you pleased to be asked to uh, head up the appeal this year? I was very honoured to do it. Um... <laughs>